Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. The first book review of 2019. Happy New Year, by the way. Let me know down there in the doobly-doo what you have planned for this year, if you are tackling any big challenges or anything like that. Let me know down there so we can come back to this video you know, at the end of the year and look at um, our goals for the year and see what we accomplished. This year, I'm only trying to read about 52 books, a book a week. If I do more, great. If I do under, that's fine too, but that's what I'm going to shoot for. Um, I'm going to try and absorb more in previous years. I have read loads of books, 100 to 120 books, and I only remember about half of them. So, uh, and in 2018, I read 65 books, roughly about 70, I, I don't actually know. Um, as of shooting this video, how many I will have completed, but I remember more about those books than I do, you know, the year before when I did 127, I think. That's ridiculous. But jumping into the review, let me and let me know all that stuff down there in the doobly-doo. What kind of goals you have, What, how many books you want to read, if you're going to read more or less uh, in 2019, let me know. But today we are talking about No Exit by Taylor Adams. This was a book of the month club selection, and I am so glad I did not pay full price for it. Um, the book is okay. Uh, I ended up giving it one star on Goodreads only because it upset me so bad there toward the end. Um, I didn't actually finish the book. It's the first time I've ever given up on a book when I've only had, I think I had like 75 pages left to go, but uh, I predicted the first twist, then I predicted the second twist, and then I predicted the third twist, and three strikes you're out. I just didn't care anymore. It got super repetitive, um, and it just felt like it was never going to end, so I went ahead and ended it. What started out as a terrific pres pres premise um, was, was completely ruined by the author's inability to hide certain information. Um, the, the very first twist was phoned in way back at the beginning of the book um, because the main character just assumes that there's... I don't want to give any spoilers. They, they just assume something about the parking lot and I, I just thought it was the most foolish thing it possibly could have done. Um, and some of the other stuff is phoned in also. Um, but nothing is more phoned in than the twist about page 200. Um, with regards to, uh, uh, anyways, like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's, it's one of those books where all the surprises feel forced in such a way that it's like, it can't be that obvious, can it? And of course it was time and time again, so unfortunately I'm starting out the year with a one star read just because the book was so so horribly phoned in. The writing has potential though, so I would be willing to give Taylor Adams another shot um, because it's not the it's not the storytelling or the writing that I had a problem with, it was the actual plot um, and the ham-fisted attempts at twists. Uh, now, let me add this. I go over to Goodreads and I look at the reviews for this book um, and I see a bunch of positive stuff about the twist. So I'm not sure if it just didn't work for me because I'm an author and I know these tropes. I know how to use these things and usually me knowing how to use them keeps me away from using them, if you get what I'm saying. But uh, have you read No Exit by Taylor Adams? If so, let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!